one of my favorite stores, which is Magnolia Lane, and I'm gonna go in and try to find some stuff that we can use in our house. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome. My husband and I are doing a really big renovation for a lake house. If you guys are old, welcome back. Um, this video is gonna be like a mixture of pretty much me trying to find stuff that's actually in stock in stores, which is really impossible right now because um, a lot of things for homes are on back order. So I'm gonna be going into a lot of different stores and trying to see what I can find for our bathroom renovation and remodel and kitchen renovation and remodel because in the next two weeks, um, well a little less, we will be like doing the kitchen and bathroom. It's already demoed. As you guys know if you've been watching the vlogs um we leave for a pretty much two week vacation in like a week and a half and we need to have all this stuff by then so we cannot order any of these things to come in like we have to find them in store so it's a pretty big task um but i think i can do it like i really i'm really hoping that i can because we want like while we're gone the kitchen and bathrooms to get done so we can come back to like a clean new space that's the idea also, we're gonna go to Home Goods because I need to get an insane amount of candles because the um, house kind of smells like that. I don't know, it just has like that old smell in it. So I've been lighting candles all day and I'm pretty much out. Um, and then we're gonna go over to Lowe's because I want to see if they have anything over there too. So Magnolia Lane is a small business. Um, they have a ton of really good stuff in stock and then we're gonna go to Lowe's and Home Goods. And then uh, I'm gonna take you guys home and we're gonna go look at the sunset because I don't think I've actually shown you guys what a sunset looks like in the new house and it's honestly stunning we're gonna do some unpacking i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up from home goods after we leave the store we're gonna shop with me so anyway lots of good stuff in this video and then um tomorrow i think th this video is going to be combined with tomorrow maybe um you guys will get to see more stuff that's like in stock because I'm gonna actually drive 30 minutes out of town and go to a warehouse that has a ton of stuff in stock, but it's like very small quality, quantity, not quality. So that's the plan. Um, Brady just sent me a list of everything that we need, pretty much. I said, hey, can you send me a list of things we're looking for? And he said, we don't necessarily need it tonight, but here are some things we need to start looking for soon or need soon. He said a small vanity for the basement bath, small plug-in shower for the basement, tub for master, shower head handles for the master, and guest room if that's the route we go, large vanity for guest bath, and medium vanity for master bath, and then we also need kitchen counters, kitchen cabinets, dishwasher, gas stove, and range. So that is my list for the next two days to pick up. I really want to pick it up this week. I don't want to go into next week because it's right before we go on vacation. I want to have everything like already picked up or picked out, paid for, brought to the house so we can like have it ready for when we leave. So let's go into Magnolia Lane. Let's see if we can find at least a vanity and a tub in here. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for or a couple vanities. Um, and then I think at the place in Jacksonville, they actually have some tubs out there. So this place is hopefully going to be where we find a vanity. Um, or some stuff in the kitchen. So let's head inside. When I first walked in, the first thing that my eyes like really gravitate towards was this vanity. I think it's gonna be a little too blue for what we're looking for, um, but it's so nice. And I also think it's gonna be a little too big, but what's nice about the stuff that they have here is it's like a really good price. Like this is $6.95 and this is huge, it's heavy. It's like so nice. And of course it's just gonna be a little too big, I think. But they have like a ton of really nice stuff in here like this over here. I also saw this when I walked in and it's a really nice dresser and this one is only $4.49, has the gold handles on it, which I think is cool because that's actually the accents that we're gonna go for in the house. Um, but they do have a tub, so I'm gonna see if maybe the tub will be something that will work in the house. Another option for sink, um, it's a floating one and you can see the retail price is $618.55 and they're selling it for $3.95 which is a great price and it just smells really new and nice 
and it would, I think it would look really nice if we put it in the um, bathroom that's for guests but I just can't decide if like the wood is too dark because we wanted to go with like a lighter wood I don't know that's the thing about decisions it's like impossible to make them I feel like just because it's like once you make the decision it's over with and what if you find something else you like better oh, I don't know it looks really nice though I feel like if it were floating it would look really good too just can't decide maybe I'll look around a little bit more and see what else I find around here. I have the hardest time pulling the trigger on like literally anything. So I asked over on a poll on Instagram to see what you guys think. And I also texted Brady to see if it would fit because we hadn't actually thought about like a floating shelf. We were initially just thinking that we would do like a regular um, sh like sink thing. So we'll see if it works. And while I wait, I will just keep browsing. So I um, just got the measurements for the um, sink and i'm gonna see if it fits i honestly have no idea and if it does fit then i feel like i'll come back tomorrow and get it the poll that i left up i kid you not like i live for the polls that i do with you guys on instagram because if i didn't have them like i would i don't think i would ever pull the trigger on a lot of these um purchases just because i get like so nervous about like actually buying stuff I get nervous that I'm not gonna like it later on and I just like sometimes just can't actually pull the trigger so um, very short lived in there but if I do end up liking it by liking it meaning that it fits and you guys seem to like like it on the polls um I will probably get it I just am worried it's a little too dark but I don't know honestly because I feel like if it were light, like lighter wood I feel like it would almost look cheaper um, and we're gonna do the walls like a white color and then we're also gonna have the floors like a light beige so I feel like it'll work it's hard really deciding on stuff when everything is so like you know like not in and it's just like a blank slate so anyway I'm gonna head over to Lowe's see what we find there um, if I end up getting it you guys will see me back here later in the vlog um, tomorrow. So let's go. Uh, let's head over to Lowe's. <laughs> walked all over the store to come to this aisle, and I don't really see anything that I like. I just did a quick little browse. Um, there's a lot of options here, but just none that I really feel like will suit us. Let me show you a couple. I just. I don't know, I just feel like they're not what we're looking for. Um, so the first one that kind of caught my eye, but I just wasn't sure it would fit is, let's see where to go, this one right here. So I love the sink. Um, I feel like it's a really cool sink. This is what it would look like in a bathroom, but it looks a little too like farmhousey with the bottom, I think. Um, so I just can't imagine us like wanting to use it. These are all the other different options for like smaller ones or bigger ones. Um, so we could get this and put this one in the basement, um, like the basement bathroom and then just change out the hardware to, i turn this on like this thing's gonna come on, um, but change out the hardware to like a gold because I think that's what we're gonna go for. But this almost just looks too farmhousey for me. Then another option for in the bathroom is this tub up here. Um, it's a jacuzzi tub. I could ask if it's in stock, but the only thing is, I think this is like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like that like glass. It's like that plasticky. Um, so I don't know if I really like that, but I don't know if that's like how every tub is. Um, and then yeah, these are just the other ones. None really caught my eye. Um, this one up here kind of did, but it looks like this is almost like a paper on the outside. Um, like the outside of it looks like it's like a paper, like it'll like have marks and stuff on it really quickly and easily. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all the ones that really caught my eye, but there definitely are a ton here. They're just not really like my vibe. This was another one that kind of caught my eye, but I didn't really like the top I feel like this is a little bit busy um, and it also has like specks of gray which we're trying to go with more of like the beige um, but these are the different options for that they're all pretty good price um, 
yeah, just not really my vibe. I didn't find anything in there and I kind of have this feeling that I'm actually not gonna find anything in these like bigger stores and I feel like it's because everything in the stores, they're just like not unique enough. Like I just need a little bit more like, I don't know, I don't wanna say character because that sounds like really cliche, but kind of like just a little bit more and I feel like I'll find that at smaller shops so I'm gonna head home make a list of smaller shops in Illinois that I could drive to that wouldn't be too much work to get there um, and will kind of give me like what I'm looking for um, like Magnolia Lane was perfect because like they had not a ton of options but the options they did have were nice and they were like a good price um so i'm gonna do that and then um tomorrow i told you guys i am gonna head to the jacksonville store um so i feel like i'll have some good options there it's like a huge huge warehouse um and I don't know, I just feel like I'm not gonna find it in like Menards or like Lowe's. And honestly, I don't really want to. I'd rather support like a small business. Um, I love like getting bits and bobs, you know, here and there from like Lowe's and Menards and stuff, like hardware or whatever, which I'm sure we'll get. But if I'm gonna get like a really big purchase, like I'd love to support a small business. So um, I'm gonna head over to Home Goods, get some candles. I'm just like in need of a little home goods haul I haven't been in a minute and maybe we'll have something good over there too so let's head over there right now I love how home goods keeps all of their candles color coordinated like these are white these are colorful blue and black and I typically gravitate towards the white ones first because that's like our aesthetic in our house. And I always try to get the DW candles because I feel like these are the strongest ones. So I'm gonna just pick out a couple of these. Um, this one looks like it'll smell good. I love their coconut. So I'm gonna put this one in there. Um, I guess I should probably smell it first, but I think it will smell pretty good. Uh, smell so good. I'm gonna get this one. This one's called Sunday Fun Day. And I feel like this one smells it's like cake or something. There's so many good ones. This one's island coconut. The other one's coconut waves. Oh, it smells literally heavenly. Okay, I just got all my candles and as I'm walking, I saw this huge planter, which is only $49.99. Freaking huge, heavy. Like this is why I love home goods so I feel like there's nowhere else in town I would ever find this this would be perfect I wish there were two because then oh there are two oh they're not the same size but I wish there were two like the same size so that we could put them like on the sides of the house like in the front because whenever we have the like black trim around the windows and stuff and the black accents I feel like this would look so nice they have a smaller one over there but it's not quite as big as this I one I love this bowl right here and it's only $9.99 and it would be a perfect serving bowl it's really heavy I just don't like how the shape is not symmetrical like that would actually bother me I don't know why um, I feel like I would use this for like salads or serving stuff like when friends come over but I just can't deal with how like not symmetrical this is that would actually bother me it's only $9.99 so I feel like that's a really good price for a serving bowl and they also have a couple other ones down here um, this one is more symmetrical but it's not as big and I actually have some that are almost identical to these but they're from amazon and you can get same like feel for it's like 24.99 for four um but those are really nice for serving and stuff i'm gonna put this back so it doesn't fall over that's where it came from so that's where it goes this is so random but i was actually just thinking today that we need to get some more like another dog bowl for Bane. I wanna get one that's this color without the words on top. Like if it looked just like this, that would be perfect. Right now we have just like these silver like metal ones um, and they're on like a little standing thing like that, but I don't really like it. Um, I wish that it were like more of like a beige, but I do kind of want it to still sit up in the air. So maybe we'll buy something like this. I feel like this is in our like typical like color that we are like going for in the new house. Maybe we'll buy something like this. It's like 
kind of high up and then try to get bowls that are a different color on the inside. And this is $39.99 for the entire set, but we would probably switch out the two bowls on the inside to make it look a little bit nicer. Like I feel like these are just kind of like gaudy, I don't know, and they get really gross in the inside. Can't wait till we're buying furniture for the house because these are only $99 and they're so nice. Like I actually have no idea where we would put them. Maybe like an outdoor table or something, but I just think those are so pretty and they have so many other good pieces like that right there and like they're all really affordable too which is really nice keep coming back to this art piece um i just really like it i don't like the blue tones in it like you can see there's blue on the side and there's like hints of blue in it but um it's only 129 and i feel like this would look so nice like in our living room um or like even near the dining room table it could look really pretty actually need new towels so badly like so badly I don't know what happened to all of ours in the move maybe I got just to the point where I was just like over it and <laughs> or give them away or something I don't know we did have a lot of raggedy ones so maybe that's what happened um, but I'm thinking of getting towels but I can't decide if I want to get white or beige I've heard that white is better because you can actually like bleach it I've never had white towels because I always worry that every single time I like wash I'll have to like bleach them um, but I've always had white comforters so I feel like I really enjoy those so I don't know I'm either gonna get um, this color beige not like this dark beige or a white um, I just don't know comment below what you guys think are like the best towel options maybe I'll get like a little like, two of each or something um, I don't know why I act like I'm a literal child and cannot keep a towel clean there's just something in me that's just like you can't keep a towel clean I don't know um, I think I'm gonna get the beige let me know what you guys think of the white though. I've heard that bleaching them like is honestly the best go-to. I just can't bring myself to do it. Let me show you guys the ones that I'm probably gonna end up grabbing. There's a lot of options, but these I think are my favorite so far. So these are the ones that I'm looking at. They're um, Bovino Fluffy Soft 100% Turkish Cotton. These are the other ones and these are actually UGG, but I don't really like these because they are like a little too dark for my taste. I feel like this is what I want, just like a little lighter. And then I think I'm gonna try doing two white towels and see how like it works for us. Um, these are oversized bath towels, so I feel like we'll like those. Um, and if we have to bleach them, I don't think it'll be like a big deal. I just worry that like after one use, I will literally like just have to like bleach and bleach and bleach over again. But my mom always told me like getting towels that are white is like the best thing because all you have to do is throw in some bleach <sighs> I don't know now I'm like uh, maybe I'll do all white I don't know it's such a hard decision I'll let you guys know whatever I end up deciding um, whenever I get Seeing home things like this actually makes me want to leave the space in our bathroom open for stuff like this because this is really cute and I feel like this would go perfect between our like toilet and the um, shower if we did the shower over our tub I just didn't know what I would put there but honestly seeing stuff like this makes me want to do like the shower bath combo because this is so cute it'd be nice for a lot of cabinet space it's like unique I just really like that I think it's really cute and let's see where is the price on this bad boy I literally can't see and I'm not gonna buy it right now so I feel like it's almost too much work to look for the price because I could look on the back and it's not even there, but I bet it's probably a pretty good price. I once have told you a million times how good the hand soap is here, and it's like a really good price. I'm thinking about getting this little set right here. It's only $16.99, and there's a lavender sage with essential oil, a coconut vanilla with essential oil, and a eucalyptus mint with essential oil, and it's all three hand soaps in glass bottles literally and they're like 20 ounces each so I feel like that's such a good price for hand soaps um I don't know I think I have a hard time honestly just deciding on actually anything um but I think I have a hard time deciding if I should like get cutesy stuff in the house just yet or if I should wait because we're like not like fully moved in you know but I think I'm gonna do it. This one has wild lavender, rosemary mint, wild lavender, rosemary mint, four pack. What is the ounces on this one? Oh, this is 16. Um, we only have one bathroom, so I feel like 
one bathroom in the kitchen, this one will be fine. So I'm gonna go with the bigger ones and just get really cutesy ones because why not? So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to show you. But um, I am gonna show you what I picked up from Home Goods, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm gonna be like just eating dinner for the rest of the night and chilling. Um, but I want to show you what I got. I'm gonna sit you on this freaking ladder. This is the toy I got for Bane. Okay, lots of stuff. Pull it over. Bane is so nosy, so we want to know exactly what I got, but I have not um, pulled everything out, so I'm sure he's going over, and here he comes. <laughs> but this is not even all the bags that I got. Like, there are seriously so many. Um, what did you say? Sorry, I thought it was going to No, you're fine. Okay. Um, I got the hand soap that I told you guys about because we needed some hand soap um, running low and this is only $16.99. It has the lavender sage, the coconut vanilla, and eucalyptus mint. And all of them are 20 and a half ounces, which I think is honestly such a steal. Then, um, in this bag is peach rings, which if you guys are new here, these are my like absolute favorites. And then, I actually got all white colored candles. Um, this one is Island Coconut. They're all from DW Home because those are my favorite. This one's $9.99, which most of them are actually $9.99. Um, this one smells like coconut, but it also has like a really like guava, like island vibes. And this one is Coconut Waves, which this one smells really light and airy, has a base of coconut, but not too strong. And it kind of is like, um, not like linen, but something else that's like really airy. Then I have this other bag, and it's another um, candle, Sunday Fun Day, DW Home. This one smells like a cake, and this is another one that's $9.99, along with the other two. And then this one is Sunshine Daydream, $9.99. And this one, this one smells almost citrusy but not too citrusy and i actually don't like very much citrus um so honestly i'm glad that i didn't um get anything else that's too citrusy because i feel like that one's almost like pineapple slash citrusy i am getting the white towels i might regret it we will see i'll let you know um i just trust my mom's judgment and if she said like white towels are the way to go then i'm gonna try it um i got the oversized towel because um, I figured it would be the best, easiest. Um, you don't have to like worry about not being wrapped up enough. I got four of them and these were, um, the Ugg ones are actually $12.99, which I thought was honestly kind of outrageous. These were $6.99 and these are really plush. Um, just a really nice material. I'll let you know how they hold up. And the brand is uh, Soho, Soho Living. And then the oversized bath. And then I also got same Soho Living towels, um, and this comes with six of them, and the price is $6.99. Then two more bags. Um, got more candles. These are actually some of my favorite DW Home candles because they actually look really aesthetic and they're the same price as the other ones I showed you um, up close. If you guys can see, it's just a little bit more like the branding is just really nice. Um, I'm trying to get it to focus on it, but there we go. Um, it's just like really nice. I like the words, how they kind of look like a typewriter typed it out. Um, and this is smoke birch, smoked birch and vetiver. Um, the notes are birch wood, vetiver, and warm oak hand poured. It contains essential oils. And this one smells like a smoky fireplace slash men's clone. Um, 
I also got another Island Coconut, which is the coconutty one that has like the guava type base thing. And then I got another one of the same um, smoked birch and vetiver, um, $9.99. Um, the other two were also $9.99. And then the last candle I got is bigger. It's white linen and it's $14.99. And this one smells like clean clothes. Um, so I'm gonna put all these into my linen closet and they'll hang out there. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. And tomorrow we're gonna just be looking at more, um, just like more places to get stuff for the bathroom. Like we have to pick it out this week or next week. And I really wanna do it this week because I do not want to like go into next week before we travel like stressed about getting stuff for the bathroom or the kitchen. So we at least have to get the bathroom. So I'm gonna use tomorrow. Um, I'm also gonna use the weekend. I'm hoping tomorrow I can find the bathroom stuff and then Saturday find most of the stuff for the weekend. So see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Love you so much. Um, see you tomorrow. stuff for the house and I came to Jacksonville Warehouse to see if I could find anything here. I'm hoping they have some vanities. Um, Jacksonville Warehouse is roughly like 45 minutes from our house but last time we were here they had a lot of good like flooring options and stuff so I hope that they have a lot of nice vanities. Oh god there's a ton over here. Okay let me show you a couple of these. It looks like we might be able to find one here. Literally just a big warehouse of like stuff. And these are all the vanities. Oh my God, there's literally so many. Some have tops like this one. This one is $5.84, which I think is a good price. And this one is $2.34, but it has like cracks. Last time I was, I was here, they did have cracks in a lot of the tops. I think it's just because like when they're transported, sometimes they get broken. But there's definitely a lot of options here. This one's cute. It's hard to find one that's like, what you want and the vibe you want, you know? This one's 300. Let's see what else they have here. I definitely wanna find one with a top. See, this is nice, but it has a crack, it looks like, and there's a lot that have cracks. They're still really nice. Oh my God, <gasps> this is stunning. And no cracks or anything, this is so nice. And they have the pull-out drawers like this. This is cute. I really like this one. I like this one too. Ooh, oh my god. We would have to get new hardware on here it looks like, but this one could be actually a good option for our master. Okay, this one is stunning. Obviously we would have to put new hardware on it because the hardware is like all the same down here, but it's missing hardware here and here. But to be honest, I was thinking about changing to use gold hardware anyway. This is um, for sale at 844 and retail retails for almost 1300. I love the top um, and it's not broken and it looks like it's in really good shape. Um, and I was just thinking that if I added gold hardware or even if I didn't add gold and I just added black, um, it would just look really, really nice. This could be something that we use in our master. Um, I really think that we want to do the double vanity thing. Um, oh, it's just so pretty. I feel like it would look 
really nice and it would add a lot of like character to like a really pretty modern room. I don't know how it would look with the um, hexagon red like tile, but I feel like this would give it the Tuscan vibes. I don't know, maybe I'm making that up, but this one's really nice. So I took a picture of it and I'm gonna send it to Brady and see what he thinks since he couldn't come and shop today. Another one I really like, I like how the top isn't like a super white, white color, but the bottom is definitely super white. So I feel like this one's a no. And also it seems a little pricey for um, something that's like, I don't know, at a warehouse, but I do love the top. It's like a, not like a stark white, but it's like the off white, which is like exactly what I was wanting. Um, and this one's just really pretty. I really love this one because it has like the brown wood at the bottom, but I just know that this is not gonna fit in any of the rooms unless we put it in our master, which I don't think would match with the flooring. This one is $7.75 and it retails for like $15.50. But I love how the sink is on this one and I love the bottom brown. There aren't too many that have like that brown this at the bottom. Is another option that's a little bit more plain we'd have to for sure add in the hardware um, that looks like it's just dirt and it'll come off but I don't know if this is like straight because as I'm pulling it out it's opening the bottom drawer um, but I really like this one for the color like almost all of these are like stark white and this one I don't know if you guys can tell in the light it's more of like a cream like beigey color um, and if I were to add gold hardware I feel like it would be really pretty and the price I think is really good um, also there's not any cracks in the top and like I said I would probably add gold hardware here here uh, and then like all of those so I feel like that could be really nice with the um, flooring that we got in the master I just uh, it's hard to pull the trigger and I feel like this top isn't that nice like it's hard but it doesn't feel like a lot of these like it doesn't feel like this one like this feels like heavy and thick this almost feels like not plasticky but kind of I don't know what type of material this is I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I do like this one. I think this one's a good option too. I actually too. really wanted um, one of the vanities that could actually be like in the air, like this one. That's why it's like so low, because you actually put it in the air. But this is almost too red for the wood. Um, if it were like a little bit lighter or a little darker, um, I feel like it would be better. But this is a really pretty vanity. I don't see a price on it. Otherwise, I would show you guys, but I don't see one anywhere. Um, maybe they just brought this one out. I'm not sure. It is really pretty, just a little too like orange tones on that one. So excited because I've been looking all over, like literally everywhere, and we have not been able to find tubs that are in stock. But guys, look at these! There's so many tubs. Like, this is perfect. Literally, it has been such a pain finding tubs that are actually in stock, and these are all just like here to be used. So I'm gonna check around and like look at each one, see if I can find like a tub that like doesn't have scuffs and stuff on it. And I kind of am thinking of doing, kind of love what you guys think, but I'm thinking of doing a tub in every bathroom except for the basement one. So like the guest bathroom and the master, and then having like a shower head over top. Um, of the guest one and then keeping the shower separate in the other one and the reason for that is because I feel like I just will really want a tub that's like not used very often that'll be relaxing to get in and this is the kind of tub I'm looking for so that's the idea so let's see if we can find a tub that doesn't like have scuffs and stuff on it okay the first one that I kind of gravitate towards is this one um, it looks a little dirty but it looks like it's fine I don't know if they're like different sizes or what this one looks like it's 609, that one's 609, so maybe they're all the same, because it says freestanding soaker, and this is exactly like the type that we're looking for. This isn't super heavy. Um, oh, this is even better, oh my god. This um, type of tub is just like what I was looking for, but a lot of stores don't have them in stock right now, which is why we wanted to come here. There's just so many options. Let's see, the prices on these um, doesn't look like they say. It's hard to decide whether like this is what we want, but I feel like it is. Like, I can't decide though if I like the thicker like outer trim or the thinner kind. I feel like I like the thicker because then if it's like thicker, I can place like my book here or I can place like my phone. 
and it'll kind of like fit without like falling off um, at least that's the idea and that one's like a little bit more thin so I don't think it'll like hold a book or a phone as well I feel like I'd be a little nervous of like literally getting shocked um, but yay I'm so glad they have so many types After looking a little bit more I'm seeing that these two look like they're not quite as deep as these are which I mean the deeper the better um, so I feel like if they're similar in price um, I'd probably rather go with like the deeper option and what I like about these tubs is that they are not jetted tub I know a lot of people like jetted tubs but I like that these aren't because like like, I feel like jetted tubs sometimes are just gross, especially when other people use them. Um, and I love that these are just deep without being a jetted tub. So yay, I'm so glad that we found some tubs that we could potentially use in the house. I hadn't really thought of before, but I'm thinking of now is adding tile to either behind the sink or maybe adding tile like around the tub because I know, sorry if it's kind of loud, that fan is like up there. But I know that, um, you know, I don't want the wall to be like wet. Um, so I'll try to insert a picture here so you guys can kind of see the vibe where like the tile wouldn't go all the way up, but it would go pretty high. Um, or if we ended up keeping the shower and tub together, we would need tile like all the way up the wall instead of just like obviously a regular wall. So um, these are actually um, being sold for a blowout price of $4.99 per sheet. And I feel like that's a really good price. Um, and I feel like these boxes are, um, let's see if I can open one just to see what it looks like. Like these are really pretty and they're an off white, so they're not white, which I feel like would be perfect with the tile that we purchased. Um, and these could just look really nice. I don't know if this would look well, look good with the hexagon tile, um, but I think it could. I really, really like this up that wonderful vanity but I decided to wait on the tubs and I'm gonna go to Home Depot to see what they have there because some of the tubs in there were like scuffed a little bit and just makes me a little nervous that I'm gonna like bring home a tub that's like scuffed and wow my little poop is shrinking it's so hot out um, but yeah it just makes me a little nervous I'm gonna bring home something that's like scuffed so we're gonna head over to Home Depot and see what they have over there. anything that I've liked just did like a quick browse um, there's no anything that I like other than this shower I really like the shower my poof is like so small right now it's just so hot I guess it's just like shrunk but this shower I really like it let me show you guys so this is the shower up here I was thinking maybe this could go in our basement this one right here the basement bathroom um, but we would have to put tile all around the outside but it's definitely an option it's really honestly hard picking things out oh um, you don't really know what it's gonna look like these are a couple other showers but i'm just not loving them like i love this one i feel like that would look really nice because we would just pick out our own um like tile that we would want in the back versus like those that have like the plastic and stuff um, so I'm gonna text Brady and see what he thinks. I didn't find anything in there that was very, very short-lived. Um, it's actually really hard to find stuff right now, like really hard. Um, so I'm gonna go back probably to the warehouse and get those tubs because they didn't have any here and see um, if I can find some that like don't have scuffs and stuff on them. Um, and hopefully they'll work for the bathroom. Crossing my fingers at least. Back in the warehouse, and hopefully this focuses in a second. Um, but I'm gonna go over by the tubs and try to. Um, wow, this is not focusing. Focus, focus. There we go. I'm gonna go over by the tubs. And I'm gonna try to clean off the tubs and get the one that is the cleanest and has the least or no scratches at all. Hopefully. I also want to find another um, vanity while I'm in here because we're going on vacation really soon and we really want to get the two bathrooms done while we're gone, um, but they can only get done if we actually like get stuff for the bathroom, so that's kind of the goal while I'm here.
one that I think has like the least amount of scuffs. Like every other one has, you can see like scuffs everywhere and they're just like really indented into the tub. This one doesn't have like really any at all except this one right here, which I honestly hate, but I'm thinking that maybe we could like make a small shelf over top of it or something. I don't know, there's gotta be a way to get these out because this is like dirt. It's not like in the tub, it's like on top of it. So I feel like maybe with magic eraser or something, because all I'm using is this little like rag with nothing on it. Maybe with like bleach or something it'll come out. I don't know, but I'm gonna get it and um, just like bite the bullet. And we're only gonna get one because all the other ones are like too scuffed up. Um, but I really do like this one, so this one will probably go in our master. Now I'm kind of thinking I want this one. It is a lot bigger. This is smaller. Um, I laid in it and this one's bigger. And this I know will definitely come off because this is just tape. Um, but I'm kind of thinking maybe this one because it's a lot bigger. I feel like it'll look nicer in our bathroom. It'll be nicer to have like a bigger tub. Ooh, okay, now I have to get in them and show you guys okay. what I think. This one, I can fully stretch out my feet. And I'm trying not to like touch the bottom because it's dirty. But I can fully stretch out my feet like completely and I still have room. And then the other one, I already got into it. Um, I definitely can't. I'll show you guys. I feel like I'm gonna get the bigger one, even though it has like a little more scuffs. So this one, little smaller and my knees are like this versus like all the way out if they're all the way out like my I mean they're all the way out now but my legs are like up not on the bottom of the tub um so if there's only the other one hmm. I kind of want to get both to be honest because I feel like we have a hard time finding a tub or a shower anywhere else but Brady just wants to get one, so cross our fingers and make the right decision, and I think we're going to get the other one. It has a little less scuffs. Um, it doesn't have this one big scuff, but it has a lot of smaller ones, whereas this one has one big one and like no smaller ones, but I feel like the smaller one is better than one big one. I don't know. Hopefully I make the right decision. I ended up getting the large tub, and I got the little slip. It has been the longest day, mostly because it's hot in there and it's three o'clock and I got here at like 11 o'clock. It's just, it's long. I feel like it's a little bit more fun when you're driving with someone else versus like when you're by yourself and making decisions, mostly because I feel like I have the hardest time actually pulling the trigger and like making a real decision. I'm always like second guessing myself or like not sure. So I put up a lot of polls on Instagram um, to see what you guys think is best. But honestly, I just hope for the best. I ended up getting the vanity, the bigger one that I really liked. Um, the beige, it kind of looks like vintage, but Part of me is like, I don't know, is that the right decision? Like, I don't know if it's normal, like when you're like looking for house stuff to like feel like not 100% sure. Um, I hope it's normal because honestly, every decision we've made, I have not been 100% sure on it. Like the flooring, like you just hope that it's gonna look exactly how you envision it. I think the vanity will look good. I think, I don't know, but every bathroom has like a different vibe. Um, so, this vanity is gonna go in the guest bathroom. We have beige flooring. It's gonna have like a white either tub or like a white shower and it's gonna like have the white toilet and it's just gonna be like really bright and airy. Um, I thought that that would be cool to add in like some bits of, um, not vintage, but like Victorian vibes. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know. Hopefully it looks good. I really hope it looks good. It's really pretty, um, so I just, I hope it looks good. <gasps> oh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I just, I, I feel like it'll look good. Do I know that? No, but I feel like once everything's in and together, like it'll look exactly like I want it to. So, hoping for the best. Um, I'm gonna head home now and um, probably grab some food because this has been quite a long time. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing like the bathroom stuff and all the stuff that we plan to get. I really have so many ideas and 
hope it all like works out and comes together. It's really hard to decide, but all of your comments and stuff really do help. So like, whatever ideas you guys have, if you have any like inspo, like send it my way. Cause really like the guys, like my guys, I mean Brady and the contractors and stuff, like they do not care what is done in the house. Um, so I just have to tell them what to do, but it's kind of hard when like, it's just me picking out everything and like me making the decisions and telling everyone it's exciting but it's really nice to have people to like bounce ideas off of so yeah comment below any ideas that you guys have um you guys if you haven't watched the entire house tour you should watch that for all of our inspo in the house it'll give you a good idea of like how we're going to do things and also watch the other two moving vlogs um so you guys can just like kind of see like some of our decor and like know the memes so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one love you all so much bye guys